Hello everyone, it's Emily. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be decluttering and customizing my devices for school and we're going to start off with my iPad and then I'm also going to do my MacBook in this video. So to start off I have the iPad generation 7 I'm pretty sure. It is just one of the cheaper ones that works with the Apple Pencil and I use this a lot to take notes and um, to do some other stuff on. For school I use it pretty much just for notes but I also use it for thumbnails and stuff. For YouTube. So first off, I'm going to screen record. I think it's screen recording now. So I've never actually changed the background of my iPad and this is just what it has looked like. And the first page is literally just like the basic apps that come with the iPad. These are some of the apps that I added on and then a couple that I use for YouTube and just to random coloring app that I don't actually think I've ever used. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get rid of apps that I don't use. So I'm going to get rid of the two whiteboard apps, I think, or one of them at least, because there's no need to have two of them. This one's Microsoft whiteboard. We usually use Microsoft for my classes, so I'll keep that one and I'll delete the other one. I'm gonna delete this coloring app. So I don't really use a lot of these apps, so I'm thinking about rearranging the home screen so that it only has the apps that I would probably use on here because there's no need to have like apps that I'm just not gonna use, like Home and FaceTime. I'm just probably not gonna use those. I literally don't ever use like half of these. Like I use some of these apps, but just not on my iPad, if that makes sense. But I'm just gonna rearrange the apps first. You know, it might've been smart to combine them all in one folder so I can just move them all at once. I'm gonna delete this Read Anywhere app because I think it was for one of my textbooks that I could use that and I don't need it now. Okay, so on the first page I have like some stuff that I think I might use once in a while. The second page is like stuff I'd probably use for school, except for Pinterest, I don't know. That's, yeah, everything on there would be for school. And then the third page is like YouTube and then the, fourth page is just random stuff that I don't really think I'll use often to be honest. First step is it's kind of a little bit less crowded and uh, not really organized but it's better than it was. So now I'm going to either make a background for it or I'm just going to find one on Pinterest. That way it's like a little more aesthetically pleasing and then we'll get into getting it set up for school. So I'm gonna pause my screen recording on here and I'll come back after I either find a background or I make my own background. Okay, so I found a background. I just found one on like Google Images, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that my background. What's my lock screen? We'll find a lock screen later because I don't feel like looking for one right now. Okay, so what I decided on is I feel like I'll use it more for school than anything. So I'll make the first page my like school page or whatever and then I'm just gonna flip like the first and second page around pretty much. So let me turn my screen recording on again. I literally just have to move all these over. I'm just gonna put all of them in one folder again and move them at once. Okay. And then I'm just gonna move all of these into a folder. I'm gonna put Notability first. And then I'm also gonna be getting Notion today because I want to try that out for a planner. So we'll put, or did I say Notion? I meant Good Notes. I already have Notion, but I'm going to be putting Notion next to Notability and Good Notes. And then we'll put, honestly, I don't even know if I use my Google Calendar. I like went back and forth from using my Google Calendar and my Apple Calendar. And I think I'm going to move my Google Calendar onto the second page and move my Apple Calendar onto the first page. I'm gonna move the sheets over to the YouTube stuff because that's what I use it for normally. So not that many apps because I really only use this for school. We'll just start taking these out, I guess. Okay. 
So the first row, I think I'm gonna put the Instacart and then the Pinterest. Cause honestly, what I use Pinterest for my, what I use Pinterest for on my iPad is to look up like recipe ideas. So I'm gonna put that in the top row. The notes, cause sometimes I might put like food, ide have food ideas in there. Um, don't mind my 12,411 emails that I have because I don't even know what email account that is. I'm pretty sure it's like an old one and I don't use it anymore. But that reminds me, I'm going to download Gmail. So I'm downloading Gmail because I use that for my emails for YouTube normally. I'm just going to leave the third page with those two folders because if I ever decide to start using those apps, that's where they'll be. Okay, so here's the front page and then here's the second page. It's not anything fancy, it's just what works for me. So that's what I'm going to go with. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to download Good Notes, which I'll then be looking for a planner to go with that. So I'm actually going to look for planners on Etsy, I think is where people buy them from first because I have to wait because the card that's on my account is my stepmom's and I don't want to buy it without asking her if it's okay first. I'm looking at this website that has 11 planners, so it's just like a blog post. I don't remember. I was looking through planners and I found one that I liked, but I don't remember where it was, so that's kind of unfortunate. I definitely want a planner that has monthly weekly and daily spreads and i would like to have a um like an hour by hour thing and also i would like to have like some other little linked stuff that's like either for me to plan my meals or my workouts or stuff like that i also don't know if i want a dated one or an undated one i'm gonna attempt this chair is so squeaky i'm gonna attempt to find the planner that i originally found that i liked because i want to know which one that is because that's always an option if I can't find a different one. I'll be back whenever I figure this out. So here's a planner that I found and it's an undated planner so that can mean you could possibly have multiple copies and like reuse it. It has all these like stickers that come with it. It has an index at the front. It's like a cork background. I think you might be able to decorate it, the cover page, but I like it how it is anyways. Oh yeah, you can add stickers, it says. There's a monthly spread, and then like it goes into a weekly spread and then you can click on an individual day and it'll take you to the daily spread. And it comes with like finance stuff and then like journal prompts, journal templates, which is really cool, tracker templates, bunch of other templates, which is pretty cool. And there's extra pages, I think, in the back. But yeah, I can do like a grocery list, all that on here. And it's only $13, which is not bad at all. I think this is the one I'm gonna get. This is the one I was talking about that I found earlier. I'm gonna put this in my cart and then I'm gonna like look around just to make sure there's not one I like better. And then I'll probably end up getting it most likely. So I got good notes. It's somewhere downloading oops right here. So we're gonna move good notes next to notability. I'm super excited. Okay, so I got good notes and I am I bought the planner. And now I'm just trying to figure out how to download it. I think I figured it out. It's importing it. So it came with like five documents. You can do a Monday start, a Sunday start. There's like a sticker pack, some other type of sticker thing, and then how to use the planner. So swipe two, two fingers to flip the page. Oh, that's cool. And it's meant to go this way, I think, yeah. So I'm gonna have to flip that. Let me restart the screen recording sideways. And then I proceed to tell you all about the planner and show you all kinds of features and everything. But I forgot to start the screen recording again. But don't worry because I went through quickly and showed you again with the screen recording once I finally realized my mistake. Oh, it wasn't screen recording. Oh my gosh, it wasn't screen recording the whole time. Let me take you guys through what the planner looks like. So this is the cover. There's all this stuff. And then there's monthly view. Then you can click like week one and it'll take you to the week. And then you can click on a specific date and it'll take you to that date. And it has so much to work with. I'm excited about this. So you can like track habits, habit tracker, so much stuff but 
that is pretty much all I'm going to do for the iPad today. I'm going to be searching for a new lock screen and then I'll update you guys in this video whenever I find a lock screen that I like. I'm just going to be messing around with GoodNotes trying to figure out how that works, maybe trying to plan a little bit in it. And I know it's like already August, so like so many months have gone by without me using it, but again, it's not dated, so I can use it next year too if I want, in the year after that, in the year after that, so that's pretty cool. People are starting to move in now, so it might get loud, I don't know, but I am going to take a break from decluttering and customizing my devices for school, and that's what I did for my iPad. I also put a fresh screen protector on so that it will protect the screen when I'm taking notes and I just have this marble case that I got from Amazon that was customizing my iPad for back to school and next I'm going to be doing my MacBook okay it's the next day and I have the same sweater on as yesterday but time to get into the MacBook portion of this video if you haven't seen my MacBook unboxing video I got a new MacBook and I got the MacBook Pro with the M1 chip I think it's the 2020 version and if you want to know more about that and see me unboxing it then go ahead and click the i up in the corner and you'll be able to see me unboxing that and talking about that so the first thing we're going to be doing is putting on my new case because i got a new case for the macbook so here is the case that i got it's just this pink case i don't really know how to pronounce it but i got it off of amazon okay so i'm just going to unpackage this and i think everything is inside this packaging comes with a screen protector which i don't know if i'll put on today because my screen is really dirty so i need to get some sort of screen cleaner because this comes with like a dry cloth but not a wet cloth here is the top or front piece, and then here's the bottom piece. I don't know if I'm going to be putting this on because whenever I put this on, if my adapter doesn't fit, it doesn't allow it to plug in all the way, so I don't know if I'll actually be using the bottom case. And then this keyboard cover. Oh, it comes with two keyboard covers. Oh, they're two different ones. That way it can fit both keyboards. That's cool. So it comes with like the old keyboard and then the one with the touch bar. Well, we can put the top case on at least. There's so much extra packaging that's just not necessary. I always have the hardest time getting these cases on. I feel like it kind of looks silly with not the bottom being covered and also it's not being protected. Let's just see what it looks like with this on. Oh, it's not that hard to get on and off, I don't think. Here it is with the case on. I'm just gonna have the bottom case on for now because it's actually not that hard to get off and I'll just take it off whenever I need to use it because it looks way better with the case on. Now to put this on. Hopefully it fits because the last one I had didn't really fit. Next is to declutter my MacBook. So I'm going to be first starting with the home page and kind of getting it so it's not so cluttered. I'm gonna make a background at some point too of like a collage or something like that. But first I'm gonna organize these at least into like categories. That way I can make folders for them. First off I have the Macintosh HD and it's like, I don't even know what that thing's called, the hard drive or whatever, whatever is built into it. I don't know why this is on my homepage and I don't know how to get rid of it and I don't think I'm supposed to get rid of it. I just don't really want it like right on my homepage, so I'll probably just hide it. This is an old background that I made and it was like my vision board pretty much. This is my MacBook unboxing video, but this just posted. So I'm actually gonna move this to trash because it's all good and I don't need it anymore. This is for my new collage wall photo. I printed out some more to add to my collage wall, which you guys will see that in my apartment tour video. So that can actually be moved to trash because I don't really need it. So I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna do it yet, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like have main folders with like YouTube, school, Redbubble, important documents or, or other documents or whatever. And then in those folders, I might have more, but I think, I don't know, for school, I'll probably have separate folders for each of my classes. So if anybody knows how to get rid of this 
Macintosh HD thing or what it is even. I don't even know what it is, but if anybody knows how to get rid of it so it doesn't have to be on my home screen, please let me know because it looks ugly there. Okay, it's not really like how I want it, but it's a little more decluttered and organized. Not really, but like, you know what I mean? And the next thing we're gonna do is make a background on Canva. And we're just gonna open Canva by itself. I need to look up what the dimensions are for the MacBook Pro. 2,800 by 1,800. Okay, and we need to go to Pinterest and neutral aesthetic. Actually, I wanna find some good like motivational quotes or something. I like this one a lot. <laughs> Let's look for some other, just like little filler photos kind of thing. This one's cute. We'll do study aesthetic <laughs> or study motivation aesthetic or like this one it's almost like chaotic but i kind of like that about it i'm gonna keep looking for pictures and then i'll come back Almost an eternity later and I have the background done finally. It literally took me so long to make it. I think I could probably make a better one but this is what we're going with right now. I wanted to fix one thing on it so I'm downloading it again. After this is done downloading the next thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm going to be making the folders. I have to remember how to change the color of the folders. I'm gonna change the folder colors and then I'll be back. I I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do. So right now, let me screen record. So right now I have like a bunch of stuff on here and I don't really want to cover up the background because I really like the background. So I'm trying to figure out what exactly, like where I should put stuff. And right now I think it looks weird with stuff on here. So I was thinking about like making one folder called the desktop and then putting all of my folders in there. Once I make up my mind, I'm thinking about making a background that has like sections. I've seen people do it before. It's like school and there's like a calendar sometimes and then you could put folders in each section and i'm thinking about doing that that way i can like make it look good on the screen rather than trying to try not to cover up all of the background and stuff because some of the folders blend in in some spots so all we have is desktop macintosh hd and then we have these sticky notes which i need to close that one out i like to have a sticky note thing on here but um Trying to find a good color if it allows me to change the color. Oh yeah, it does. I'll probably do like pink or gray. But yeah, I like to plan out like my weeks or whatever using a sticky note. Now it's kind of hidden and then you can see most of the background. That's gonna have to work for now until I figure out what to do with that. Okay, so my MacBook is pretty much done. And let me stop the screen recording for the most part ready to go the card was full but i just deleted a few clips that way i can wrap this up if i update these anymore before i edit and post this video then i will make sure i update you guys but this is what my macbook's gonna look like for this semester and i'm very happy with the case choice that i picked out I wanted to update you. So my iPad, I decided to pick a lock screen and um, I'll probably have to insert a picture, but this is the lock screen. I haven't really changed much on the inside. I'm still trying to figure out if widgets are available to be used on the generation seven iPads, which is what this is. If I update it, like I said, before I edit this video, then I will let you guys know. If not, then that is what my devices are looking like for this school year and i can always do an updated what's on my ipad what's on my macbook kind of video if i decide to change them around and customize them more but with that being said that is all that i'm going to be doing for customizing and decluttering my devices for back to school i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up also comment down below what videos you want to see from me and if you'd like to see a video of me customizing my phone or like what's on my iPhone kind of video. And I will see all of you in my next video. Bye.